In part A, to find out if the material is a good conductor or a low loss dielectric or neither at 1 kilohertz, we need to calculate the loss tangent. And the loss tangent is epsilon double prime over epsilon prime, which is equal to also sigma over omega epsilon. And here, we, if we want to specify that this is the real part of epsilon, then we can just put a prime there to make sure we're aware of that. So we can plug in our values. Sigma was given as 4. Omega is 2 pi f, which here is 1 kilohertz. So I'll put in 1,000. And the real part of epsilon prime is epsilon naught times epsilon r. So I'll put in 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12. And epsilon r is 80. So I'll multiply that times 80. And if we evaluate this, we will find that our threshold is epsilon double prime over epsilon prime. And if it's, a, if it's greater than 100, then we know that the material is a good conductor. And we'll find that if you evaluate this expression, and if you, you can um, also change f, you'd find that the material acts like a good conductor, so the, the ratio is greater than 100 from 1 kilohertz all the way up as we increase f to about 10 megahertz. So over this entire frequency range, this ratio is greater than 100, and we can say the material is a good conductor.